Okay, welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 2, and if I'm correct, this should be part 14. If I'm wrong, go ahead and feel free to correct me, but it should be, should be part 14. So let's do this. We're finally in the Umbrella Facility. I'm gonna go ahead and take out all my acid rounds. They still give me flame rounds, so I'm gonna keep that as my, uh... Secondary <clears throat> for zombies and stuff because I shouldn't need too much ammo down here. I'm gonna go ahead and use one of those just in case, but other than that, I should be good. Go ahead and put these up for the flame rounds or the acid. Sorry. Go ahead and put this up too. I don't really need it. I don't really need this either. I'm gonna keep the flame for the zombies and the acid for the liquors. The liquors are stronger down here, by the way, so. And I am not saving anymore. I am using the normal save for a let's play. Because I've already saved it quite enough and it's lowering my score. I'm gonna end up finishing with either a C or a B. I can already predict it since. You know, I've played this game before, and I think I have about six, maybe five saves under my belt. When I could have been using the auto save for the emulator. But let's go. I'm going to go ahead and go down here. First off, we're going to go to the frost room. We're going to get the, uh... Not exactly sure what it's called. It's, it's... Uh, it's whatever you put in here to make the power go on. Well, I'll just say that. And I'm going to go ahead and do the first hand, uh, hand scan print. Since on the second scenario B, I'm going to end up coming back here to get the second submachine gun. The frost room. Something the core, something core, is something, something like that. It's a core, and I forgot this was here. I might as well have put my health away. I'll just carry that until I get down to the bottom, though, because I'm trying to get it done fast here. Fuse case, and I think it becomes the fuse core. But I'm not exactly sure. It could just be the core fuse. I think it just says fuse. I'm not sure. We'll see here, though. Like I said, I have every every intention of finishing every Let's Play I start. And uh, to be honest, after this one, instead of... I'm probably going to start Scenario B right away. But I'm, it's going to be intertwined with Mega Man. Because I'm going to do a... I'm either going to do a Mega Man 2 or Mega Man uh, X. The first X. Uh, let's play and when I'm doing that I'm going to be uploading that while I'm doing the part two but it'll be in a playlist so you can find it more easy go ahead and come down here Okay, I must uh, be directly pointed at it or something, because, uh, come on. Okay. And that'll go ahead and start up the power, because you need power to get through these next couple parts. The generator in the game failed, so... I have to go ahead and put that in. Go ahead and come down here. Now, in this next room, I know there's zombies, but I don't know exactly how the zapping system works on the POW gas, the POW gas. But I always just go ahead and, I guess that's scenario B, there's zombies. I always go ahead and just put the POW gas on the first time I come through. I don't know if you can't start it up when you, uh... And come through the second time, but if you can, it does. It's not really a big deal. You know what? Since I've never tried it, I'm gonna go ahead and just not do it this time. 
And I'm gonna try it the second time around. So we got some bowgun bolts. Right here is the note alerting you about the user registration so that you can put in your finger fingerprint for the first and second time through. And when you come through here, there's actually liquors in this room, so... And go ahead and change your ammo here. Two in one shot. Got some more G rounds here. This is good to save these, plus, like I've said before, the more ammo you use, the lower score you get. So the more ammo you have at the end of the game that you've picked up, you actually get a better score. Not that it matters for this walkthrough, because I'm going to end up getting a C or a B. Scores usually go by... Uh, your rating usually goes by either... Well, not either, but it goes by time, amount of ammo you've picked up, and, uh, um, saves, the amount of saves. But the big two are time and amount of saves. The amount of ammo you pick up is barely a percentage. I think it's like... I think it's like a good 5% is based off of the ammo that you've used, which is barely anything. And you can see I actually got hurt there pretty bad. But I didn't get poisoned, so I don't have to backtrack, because there's, uh, there's herbs in the other room, but... And I actually should have switched flame rounds there. I'm being quite noob right now. There should be one more plant out here. It doesn't hurt to pick up one herb. At least, if there's more than one herb, if I don't pick them all up, I at least pick one up just in case. Because the end game bosses, for me, aren't that hard, but you never know. Might need it. Might accidentally fuck up and get hit more than once. I'm gonna go ahead and switch rounds in here because, uh... There's either liquors or zom- I think it's zombies at the end of the game. Yeah, it's liquor, so I'm gonna go ahead and... They, they like to surprise you in this room. You'll see what I mean. You see what I mean by surprise now. Oh wow, he was in the air and I still stopped him. There's like three herbs over here so it doesn't hurt to use these right now. And pretty much the rest of the time that I'm in here I'm going to be confronted by zombies, so I don't really need to use any more acid rounds, considering I only have two left anyways. And I think there's at least, I think a zo or, um, not a zombie, a liquor or two drops down while you're chilling in here. I think there's one that drops down there and then another time, but I, I could be wrong. I know there's a couple more that do happen now. <sighs> excuse me for the frequent breaks too. I was kind of using it as an excuse to lower the video time, but I actually been kind of drinking all day, so... Gotta take, gotta take them pee pee breaks. <laughs> Go ahead 
go ahead and put these up. It doesn't really matter. Even if I run into liquors anymore, I can use what I got. Need this. <coughs> Need this, though. Yeah, I think that's about it. Okay, let's keep going. This is going to be a longer part just because I don't feel like cutting it right now. I'm going to go ahead and go into the laboratory and do that whole thing. Nope, none here. Okay. This is where one of the zapping systems comes. Okay, I can't get in there yet. When I come out of this room, I'll, I'll tell you about what I was just about to talk about. But in here, in this first room is where you use the W box key which stands for weapon box key and if you're Leon it gives the custom magnum parts but if you're Claire it just gives you uh, grenade rounds mm, yeah more rounds but with Leon it gives you the it actually gives you the custom uh, magnum rounds Automatic door is nice. These zombies are a little bit stronger than the normal ones, but not too much. You see, sometimes it takes two if it only grazes them, but usually, uh, usually if you're up close, it only takes one. And he might actually... No, I think he's dead. Okay, you get the key card over here. You can get that. And, um, I don't know if I have to make a serum in this scenario or not. I'm gonna go ahead and kill all the zombies that are in here just in case. Because you never know. Go ahead and just keep going on. Um, pretty much, we're at the end of the game. I'd have to say we've got a good, maybe... To be honest, we've got a good 20-15 minutes left into the gameplay right here, so we're getting close on it. Annette! You killed William! I'll never forgive you for that! Wait! I've just prepared a sample of the G-Virus. And this time, no one will take it from me. This is the most significant piece of research my husband has ever left in my hands. Stop it! Sherry's in serious trouble! William implanted her with his embryos. There's no telling when they'll pupate. And if that happens, then Sherry won't... won't... What? <laughs> William... By the way, sorry for the glitches. W William... You're alive. I don't know how many times I can apologize for that. And like I said, it's whenever the screen shakes. I've got an extra green herb. Let me go ahead and pick this up before I go over here and continue this cut, s cut scene. Ah. <clears throat> <sighs> William is still alive. He's getting stronger with each skin he casts off. Sh Sherry! Tell me what I need to know. How can I save Sherry? I have detailed information. Everything you need to know to prepare the antidote is right here. We're gonna go ahead and skip this, because if you actually are playing the game... Save you can daughter. take that information for and, yourself. And tell her I'm sorry I wasn't a better mother. Tell her I love her. Sherry. I always feel an emotional spot for this game just because it's one of the games uh, I've been playing since I was a Annette. little kid. Every time somebody dies, I always bow my head. Goddamn glitches. The self-destruct sequence Emulators, why can't you be perfect? Be aborted. All employees proceed to the emergency car This would the have to be platform. my second favorite Resident Evil background music of all time. The self-destruct theme for Resident Evil 2. 
I'm gonna go ahead and end it here and if I'm not wrong which I'm not 100% sure of this should be the end of part 14